to what is probably going to be one of the biggest prayer unboxings, like definitely that I've ever done, and probably like on the whole of YouTube. Honestly, I, I'm so excited about this. There are four massive boxes next to me because my Brea Fest stuff is finally here. It's finally in the UK. So if you've watched my other videos, you'll have seen um, unboxing of things like my five um, Bally Nose, my eight single day stable mates, um, and some of my swag, but the vast majority of my order, all my special runs, all of my other stuff has finally arrived. The last big box arrived today. So we're gonna do an insanely long unboxing. I'm really sorry, my hay fever is horrific. So I apologize for that. Um, and I also apologize for like other noise and that I'm very weirdly doing this in my brother's bedroom at my parents' house. So without further ado, Let's get started. So we're just gonna do like a box at a time. Um, some of this is Brayfest stuff and some of it is stuff I ordered over Brayfest. So I very much took advantage of that like really cheap shipping over Brayfest and was like, I'm just gonna order all of the prayers. You know, I've got all my refunds from my flights, everything. And I'm just gonna order all of the stuff I really, really want. And that's totally gonna make up for the fact that I didn't get my two week holiday in the States. So box number one, as usual, there is, Honestly, like, I am living in this stuff. So much stuff. Okay, all right. First of all, oh my God, he's so soft. And he's not alone. I think this entire box is like full of plushies. How ridiculous is that? This is one of the like new Brea plushies. Um, they're basically the like Aurora plushies. And then um, Brea have sort of got like some sort of licensing with them. But they are like the softest things. I have the small ones, but oh my God. I don't want to unbox anything else now. I just want to hug him. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm quite zoomed out here. So, and I'm not used to like how everything is because it's a different room, but hopefully you can see how cute he is. Um, we need rubbish to go that way. You can go there. Okay, so now we've got more plushies. So we've got like the bigger gray one. Um, I'm really worried that I've also ordered like plush <laughs> plushies that I've already got. Another plushie. You guys know how much I love my plushies. So this is the unicorn, oh God. I wish you could have like feel vision and literally feel how amazingly cute these guys are. They're so soft. Oh, I love them, more plushies. Is there any, oh there is. Look, it's a tiny one. Um, I did go a bit over the top. <laughs> With the plushies, it's ridiculous. I know, I know, I know, I ordered another one. Is that all of the plushies? Yes, that is all the plushies out of this box. I was really upset. There were ones on there that I wanted that like weren't available as well. So upset. Okay, let's see what else is in this box. Um, boomerang paint set. So um, I have a boomerang conga. It's not really a boomerang conga. He's like my favorite from Spirit Riding Free. I absolutely love boomerang. Um, I have all of the boomerang products that you can basically get. I have like so many boomerangs. Um, and I kind of wanted that this one because of it. And he's probably just gonna stay boxed as part of like my boomerang collection. Um, but you know, I wasn't that bothered about having that one. Um, right, some collector. So um, obviously you can get these in the UK, but I thought, you know what? As the shipping is free. Um, so we've got the warm blood. We've got, oh, one of the little unicorn, the little rearing unicorn foal. Um, I'm not going to take anything out of packaging because I do obviously have to get all this back to my own house. Um, so it's going to have to do four hours of driving tomorrow. So I'm not going to unpackage anything because I don't want to get broken. But there you go. Cute little unicorn. Um, what else we got? <laughs> I wanted this one for ages. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like a bigger dinosaur eating the dead body of a smaller dinosaur. Look, if you're subscribers to my channel, you know that there's nothing normal about my purchases. <laughs> awesome right what i'm also going to do is i'm going to like check the video after um after each box because i'm so convinced this is going to glitch out icelandic collector we love the icelandic i'll put that aside we'll do collector first um the old zebra no that is the new zebra the um the new common zebra um from a few years ago uh because i thought my foal would get like lonely the big Rearing unicorn, that's actually like massive. Look how big that is compared to my hand. Huge. Um, and <laughs> because it's me, a llama. I literally couldn't resist getting the llama. Um, what else is in here? Oh, here we go. 
mini collectors. So this is obviously a bit of a collector and plushie box, but there's more stuff in here. Okay, so we've got some of my swag in here as well. So there's the pin badge for this year. Um, I know loads of people missed out on getting this, but I got it like right on the first day. I was like, I've got to get my pin badge. Oh, hello. Oh, he was a bit crushed under another box, but baby zebra to go with mummy zebra. I thought I had baby zebra. Right, um, t-shirts. So uh, this is my House of Brighty t-shirt. So I didn't really like any of the t-shirts for this year's Briar Fest, but I kind of felt like I had to have one. So I thought I'd have the House of Brighty one. I do like donkeys. And, um, oh, another t-shirt. So this isn't a Briar Fest t-shirt. This is just like a general one, um, but it's got Bobby Joe on. And we all know that that's my favorite mold. So I thought I've got to get the Bobby Joe t-shirt. Um, and, where did I put my highly offensive weapon? This is the mug. I am going to open this because a cardboard box is not that exciting for you guys. Oh. And some of these boxes are already open because I had to take the invoice. Well, my mum had to take the invoices out um, because stuff hadn't arrived enough. So I haven't cheated, honestly. Oh my god. I kind of want to go downstairs and like have my like. Oh my god, it's huge! Bloody hell. Oh, so, apologies for my language, but... <laughs> so this is the, um, I'm not going to fully unwrap it. This is the Celtic fling, like the actual ceramic mug. I mean, it's in one piece. It is massive. Look at that. I did not expect it to be that big. I'm finding like that what I've discovered from Brea Fest is that like American cup and like beverage container sizes are much bigger than British ones. Right. I'm going to end up creating a box for if I don't put stuff back in this box. So, I don't normally throw collector around like this, honestly. If they're scratched, I'll paint them. They'll be fine. Come on, plushies. Everyone back in this box. We might try and consolidate the boxes a bit as well. Okay, box number one. Right, I'm just going to double check that the filming is operational. Yes. It hasn't, like I said, it's run out of memory. I've been so overwhelmed. Okay, box number two. Um, I think this one is my volunteer model. So as you know, or may not know, I um, judged this year's Brea Fest. So in here, for my volunteer model. Right, so which color do I like? I love both colors. If you haven't seen him, he's like a little Pinto Flash. Um, I love both the liver and the normal. So which one is it? Oh, I think it's a liver. I'm gonna have to get these out of the bags, aren't I? Like, I can't not. I'm pretty sure it's a liver. Oh, I'm so excited! I honestly, just, like, I love both colours. Um, I'm just so excited to have a volunteer model. And to have a volunteer model and it to be, oh my god, on a mould that I love. Here he is, he is, he's a liver chestnut pinto. Um, ben Nevis, the volunteer model. I mean, how lush is he? Oh, he can probably come up his baggy. I'm not gonna take his head off. Oh my God, he's beautiful. Absolutely so in love with this model and I'm so happy. I was really stressed about judging. Um, I'm really worried about it, but I really enjoyed doing it. Um, and if Rare Fest has to be virtual again next year, I'd absolutely love to do it again. And I also absolutely love to have the chance to actually do it in person. Right, I don't think he needs to live in this massive box. So um, he can, there's so many plushies in that box, it's great for padding, so he can live there. Right, this is the box that arrived today. It's like literally as big as me. Honestly, I had to carry this upstairs. I say carry, I sort of like shimmy it. Right, so this is the one that I think should contain, if I can get into it. Um, all of my special runs, all of the Brea Fest exclusives, and my grab bag. I am slightly concerned that my grab bag is not going to be in here, but we will find out. More of this, I'm going to have to like, oh my god, I don't know if you can see this guys, look, <laughs> look at this box. <laughs> oh my god, like this is why I'm poor. This is actually ridiculous. There is so much stuff. Shall we start off with two orange bags at the top? 
Slante surprise. Right, which ones do I want? Obviously I want the glossies because I'm a glossy girl and everything has to be glossy. Um, but I would be really happy with like the matte leopard or the matte palomino because I really like them. Um, but yeah, glossies, I would generally be happy with anything. So I can't really see through the orange bag. Very elegant, opening it with my teeth. No one else is going to touch the orange bag, let's be realistic. Oh, I see spots! Are they going to be matte spots or glossy spots, guys? For those who don't know, the glossies are rarer. Um, but I don't want them because they're rarer, I want them because I love glossies. Um, oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Hello, baby girl. Oh, I oh, she's so chalky. So if this is a map. I thought she was black leopard. She's not. She's bay leopard. Oh, well, uh, none of the photographs I have seen of this model have done it justice. She is stunning. So, slanty surprise number one. I don't care what the second one is. I'm really, really happy. She is beautiful. That's, like, the colour I really wanted. Um, actually really like the matte on the spotty. I'd rather have the matte on the spotty than the glossy. Um, really happy with the slanty surprise. One of my favourite moulds. Um, and weirdly, I only own one on them, on this mould. So now I have two. So I'm so happy. Uh, everything else can be broken. I got my Matt's slante surprise that's spotty. I'm a happy girl. Right, okay, in your bag. I feel like stuff's going to get broken on the way home, just from my bad packing. Right, should we do number two? Um, my big worry is obviously I'm going to get two that are the same. So as long as it's a different colour, we'll be happy. Ah. Uh, guys <laughs> i can see through the bubble wrap that we might have to be seeing if anyone wants to do a swap sees is it matte as well it looks matte um i know that lots of people yeah it's matte have been having this it's matte um so i'm gonna see if i can find someone uh, initially who might trade for one of the other colors um with me um, I would trade for the silver dapple or the palomino, but I got one. So I got the colour I want. Like, beggars can't be choosers. You know what? Right now, it's not the end of the world to get two that are the same, and that's the risk with getting two surprise models. I'm not going to be bitter about it. It is what it is. Um, but I will try and find someone who wants to trade. Okay. All right. We've done surprise models. So let's do... Oh, should be eight of them <laughs> there are thousands there are way more than eight <laughs> uh, go on guys buy loads of tickets you'll end up with eight million fridge magnets if anyone wants a fridge magnet let me know i'll hit you up pop those in there right okay let's see um so this should be uh bridget and belting We've done like most of the surprisey stuff. Oh, we haven't done a pona, so we don't know like what colour main a pona is going to have. Um, colour main? Type of main. So I did get one each of all of the special ones, and obviously two surprise models that have ended up to be absolutely identical. Um, oh, blub, 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 blub. Re wrapping. I mean, I really regret doing this here and not waiting till I got home, but I couldn't resist. Um, so there's Brigid. Bridget. Um, isn't she lovely? Um, so she was like one of my first choices, as I think she was for lots of people. Um, very, very pretty, but mainly because I wanted the foal. Um, I much prefer the foal to the mare. I think this is a really nice foal mould. Um, so this, I felt this year's Brer Fest, I was really disappointed with some of the special runs. Um, but this is like going to be, this is my show potential for next year when live shows start back up. Look at him, he's so cute. I kind of want to call him Cupcake, but I've got like a thousand horses called Cupcake. So he's just going to have to be called Beltane. And I will try and think up a suitable, a suitable name for him. Um, yeah. You're probably all having apoplectic fits watching the way I'm putting these horses into this box. But it's fine, it's fine. I will repack them before I take them home. Um, there is no way that box is fitting in my car. <laughs> I have like the smallest car. They're gonna have to like travel. I don't know how they're gonna travel. I might have to like wedge them on the back seat. 
Right, next thing. Ta -da! I haven't even looked. Uh, the stable mate set. Absolutely love this set. I mean, I know loads of people do, but look how lush the G2 um, Thoroughbred is. Absolutely stunning. Really happy with this set. I thought it was a really nice set by Brett. Honestly, can't, like, this box is just, ooh, it's a giant, oh, do you think the giant cardboard box is my grab bag? Ooh, that's exciting. That's exciting, guys. Right then. Um, so this is oak. Should have said that before I opened it. Ugh. Should have also got some scissors, so I will not, like, ripping them out of their bags. Ta-da! Hello, big boy. A lot of these are like my first on these moulds, so that's really nice. Oh my god, he's gorgeous. I wasn't too sure about this model, but like, actually, I know I'm not taking the bubble wrap off any of their heads. I might do like another video where I actually get them all, all my special ones and show you them all in person, but... Oh, he's so chonk! He's got massive balls. He is lovely, isn't he? I mean, he's like so beautifully and chunky. We love chunky models. Where did this bag come from? Oh well, bye bye. I'm not, I'm not doing my bit for the environment today. Ooh. I'm just gonna have to balance on top. Right, what's next? Ooh. Okay, this one is the one I'm really worried about. Um, Cause I know a lot of people's have arrived broken. So this is Kelpie, this year's crystal. Um, I'm gonna open this one with a bit more care and attention. I think she's in one piece. I think so. Yeah, he is. There we go. So this is this year's crystal model. I absolutely love the Brer crystals. Um, I ended up selling one of mine, and um, so I've only got one left at the moment. I still don't have the Bobby Joe one. How crazy is that? Um, but yeah, I like them. I think they're really sweet. Um, that was one of the last ones I got actually. Um, I'm really worried about that ear though. That ear is very sticky uppy. Okay. Do not need to put you in a plastic bag though. I think you'll be fine. Right, next. Oh, look, my favourite. So, apart from the slanted spray, this is my favourite. This was my number one choice on my list. Um, which is weird. I know it's like definitely not everyone else's number one choice on their master lists. Um, but I was obviously really lucky I got everything off my list, so. But it's luck. Lock, 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 lug, whatever his name is. I love sham so much. It's a glossy sham, guys, with a gluster plume in bay. I mean, how can you not love this horse? Oh, I'm so happy. He's beautiful. Oh, this horse is also pretty. Uh, any ideas on where on earth I'm going to put all of these will be welcome. My pony room is full. And that is despite the fact that I have four boxes of horses that were on shelves boxed up. Oh god, I'm so like low down, I can't even get into this box. Who's next? Oh, Ash. Not a massive fan of this one. There were way too many drafts this year, like... Ugh. Right. Let's get you out. I'm guessing there are like boxed grayers at the bottom of this box. There better be. With like my oak and stuff, not oak, um, cheesecake and stuff like that in there, but find out. Okay, here's oak and um, oak ash. I keep saying oak, I'm obsessed with him. So glossy, 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 glossy. He's not bad. I think I would have preferred him in matte, but I think in matte he would have looked really like Winter Song, wouldn't he? But then my Winter Song is um red marked as is everyone else's winter song so maybe i wouldn't have wanted him wouldn't have minded right oh, who's this who are you hey mish okay this is not mine um inevitably i mean i think those plushies are going to go missing but of course as you guys know brendan has to have his present because brendan doesn't collect model horses Yes, as we all know, he still has to have his stuff. And the thing that he really, really wanted, and actually I really wanted as well, was to have Hamish. Um, so, 
I absolutely love this model. Um, obviously a lot of shelf space to be taken up with by a giant cow. Um, but I don't think you can deny that that is a beautiful Hereford bull. Um, and I'm very happy with him. It's glossy as well. So obviously a plus point. I mean, anything that's glossy, as far as I'm concerned, is like, oh my God, I know, mega cute. There is just this plastic bubble wrap C now because I'm not double bagging them in the plastic anymore. Oh God. I'm living in a plastic wasteland. Honestly, it's my fault the planet is dying, guys. Okay. How many more have we got left to go? I don't even know. Oh, Boudicca. We've got Boudicca, Thorn, Epona. Those are the last three. And then we should have, like, Benelli and all that kind of stuff. Boudicca, real Marmite horse. Like, some people were like, I do not like her at all. I thought she's rather nice. But you know me and decorators. Can't go wrong with a good decorator, can you? Ooh, you know, there's like another box after this box. If you're still watching, it's gonna be like an hour long, this video. It's gonna be like the longest unboxing video on the whole of YouTube. There she is. I am sorry that I'm not taking the bubble wrap off their heads, but um, oh, I'll do like a review video and we'll go through and we'll look at them all out of their boxes. Not sat on a floor. So much plastic. She's really nice, actually. I mean, yeah. She's not the nicest decorator they've done. Okay. I'm going to have to get up. Oh, there are boxes in here. Should we get a box out? Ta da Benelli! Um, this one was, like, my one of my favourites. I was really, really upset because I spent the whole of the Friday refreshing and I literally got him at, like, 11, half 11 at night, maybe close to midnight, um, and I was knackered and he was, like, the last one I needed to get. Oh, and obviously, yeah, then they released the glossies, so I just ordered those. I've got another one coming. Right. Thorn. It goes without saying that I want the glossy thorn, and I'm going to cry if I get a mat. I mean, who wants a mat? Ugh, who wants a mat on the trichina mold? Ugh, I hate the trichina mold. Sorry, mate. I'm saying I hate you, and I haven't even got you out of the bag. Yeah, this was not one of my hype. This was, like, my second from last choice. Um, let's have a look. Uh, it's matte. Well, that's a disappointment. You never know, someone might want to trade for a glossy. I just don't like this mould. And he, he's really metallic -y. He would look nice if I had a glossy. You've disappointed me, horse. You've disappointed me. Bored of you. Go away, go into some bubble wrap. I'm gonna spend my entire evening repacking this box and trying to make these horses not break. Oh god, that didn't sound good. You saw I don't like that horse. Oh, oh my god, my legs. One more, guys, one more. Um, this is a pona. I am not bothered as to whether I have plaited or loose made. Um, the only thing I would say is I absolutely hate the strapless mod. I'm probably being really ungrateful. I bet you there's people who are like, oh my god, I didn't get a phone and I so badly want one. Um, and I'm just there like, oh, I don't like you. So what we got, what we got, what we got? Oh, loose mane. Uh, there you go. Her colour is actually really lovely. You know what, she's not, I mean, this is not an ugly horse. I just don't like the mould. It's not to my tastes. Um, hopefully she's not a wobbler either. One of my strapless is quite wobbly. No, she stands up. Horses that stand up get immediate bonus points. In my eyes. Okay, that is all my Brayfest special runs. They're all done. And I should be bagging these back up into bags, shouldn't I? Can you imagine, like someone breaks into my car tomorrow when I'm at work. They're going to be like, what is all of this? I don't even know I'm going to get it all in my car. Right. Dive head first into the box. And we have Green Man. Yay. I really like him. I know lots of people are like, I don't like that horse. I like him. Okay, what else? Yes. 
everyone's favourite. Guess what's sleeping in my bed with me tonight? <gasps> He's so soft. Look at him. He's got a little hatty watty. Oh my god, I love him. <sighs> you can come and sit here. Mackenzie. Right, up. We can do this. Um, Top Gun. Um, I really like the Newsworthy mould. Don't massively like the colour. It looks identical to the best of British Connemara, but whatever. All got very, very crushed. Um, but cheesecake! Um, again, I'm not a massive fan of this mould. Uh, there are way too many drafters this year. I don't have enough shelf space for drafters. But hey, and finally! Finally, right at the bottom. <laughs> We have Ia, Aya even, um, who is also very cute. And what else have we got in this box? But another box, I know, the excitement. And what does this box say? This box says, I am a grab bag. At least hopefully that's what it says. Um, what is in my grab bag? So I got the $175 um, 2016 Brea Fest grab bag. So, let's find out what my $175 got me and how many of them are duplicates from models I already own. Plushy! Uh, not from Brayfest 2016, from Brayfest 2018. Already got one. Brea is sending me another one. Oh! Brayfest Carnival 2016 and it is Para. I can't remember because that was four years ago. Which one is which? So, is this the black Pinto, this one? No, the Bay. The um, Bay Pinto on the G2 Andalusian mold. That's great. I don't have this little guy already, so that is acceptable. Something I don't already own is an acceptable thing to send me. So he can go in the giant pile of horses. Very happy with that. Right. Ah, the uh, hot, cold travel cup. Well, I do love a travel cup. Oh, there's the lid. Um, I think don't think this is 2016 Brer. No, Brer Fest 2015. Hot, cold travel. How on earth? Oh, there you go. Ooh. 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 I could take my coffee to work with that tomorrow. Or not, because the lid doesn't close. Okay. Yay! I have a travel. Oh, is that a straw? Look at that, guys. It comes with a straw. Huh. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Maybe you did because you own one. Who knows? Right. Something more interesting. What is this? What is it? Oh! Oh! Oh, I have a friend who would like this. Not something I already own. I have a few special runs from 2016. Um, but there were a few I didn't have. Also, I panicked. That's why I ended up with this one. I was just like, oh, they're all selling out so quickly. I just need something. So I panicked and got this one. But I'm not going to complain about this. This is a, this is going to be acquired by my husband. I know it is. There we go. Suspense over. It's Zebu, who is. <laughs> look how massive he is. Oh my god! Look how wide his horns are. How cute is he? I mean. Definitely worth like $175 to have him. Um, definitely worth. I think I can figure out without looking what the next one is actually. I can't see his label, but I'm seeing a black mass. Oh dear. This is like the worst packing ever. I should do like a how. Oh, I dropped Mackenzie. How not to pack bread. I'm never getting out of this room, ever. Right, I think I'm right. This is a Namid. And I've seen the last thing. The last thing is also something I already own. But I don't have this guy. So I've got paid $175. And I got two Brea special runs I don't already own. So a cup that's lid doesn't come off. And a single day staple mate. And a few things I can sell. So I mean, I, the, you can always sell things. Better be glossy. Oh, it's matte! What is with my matte-based luck today? <sighs> so many people complain.
complain about having glossies and I can't even get a glossy llama. Sad time. Ooh, it smells weird. I mean, if there was smell of vision, I get you to smell it. Oh, that. She is actually quite a nice colour, isn't she? I feel like she just scratched really easily. I uh, don't like them all. But actually, I quite like her. I quite like her colour. I'm not going to complain. I prefer Zebu, but she's the kind of person I am. I'd rather have a cow to a llama. Uh, for those who are not in on the in-joke, by the way, my other one is called Drama Llama, which is why I refer to them all as llamas. Okay, um, so the last thing is um, the Chafelli's uh, ride set. So if you haven't seen that, I'm not going to open it because I already, got, I already own it. Um, there are two classics. There's like a, a like red chestnut pinto duchess and a buckskin leon. Um, it's quite a nice set. Um, but I do already own it. So I'm going to try and just get... Oh, it doesn't fit that. They were like stood up. They were like really weirdly positioned. Put some bobber up there. Um, this is just trying to like get everything. <laughs> Getting as much into this box as is humanely possible. Um, okay. All right. Uh, turn there. Right, go oh, guys. I don't know if you're exhausted. I need to check this camera is still working. Oh, hello. It is. It is still recording. Whew. We've got one box left. I can't feel my knee. I have cramp. We can do it. I, oh, this box. This box is huge. There is so much mess. I'm gonna sit on the seat. I can't. I can't do it anymore. Um, oh, that's all the paperwork that we had to go through. Item number one. It appears to be another water bottle. Oh, oh my god. I need to stop. I need to stop with the water bottles. Um, the Celtic Fling metal water bottle. Um, I do love the metal water bottles. So, how can I say no to another water bottle? I couldn't. Right. On the subject of water bottles, uh, you will probably have already seen my hilarious uh, review where I throw boiling coffee all over myself with one of these tumblers. And of course, during Brea Fest, I decided to buy another one. So this is the Horse Heroes tumbler. <sighs> What's next? Ah, yes. I lied when I said I had all the boomerangs. I now have all the boomerangs. Um, I was missing one. So I got this lovely spirit boomerang set. Um, oh, I'm just gonna have to put it that way. Oh look, I bought another cup. <laughs> um, I really like these. Oh, it has a lid. Look at that, it has a lid. It's a Brea tumbler with a lid. It's, you know, I don't know. What's next? Oh, a new ornament for my Christmas tree. Um, I thought this year's was really cute. Um, we do have some on order for stock for Chestnut Ridge, but I thought I'd get myself one as well. And obviously we have these on order for Chestnut Ridge, but again, thought I'd get myself one. Isn't he lush? The 2020 Christmas horse, Yuletide Greetings. Um, he is well nice this year. I really like him this year. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, I am slowly barricading, ooh, barricading myself in. Um, so I ordered another of the 70th anniversary surprise horses in the hope that I would get the Fighting Stallion. And look what I got. So I already have the Indian Pony, but I really wanted the Fighting Stallion because I love him. He's my babes. So happy. Oh my God. I don't know whether we should go down or across or this entire box is just full of brayers, but obviously, but like box brayers. Um, Foyer, uh, who is on the Bristol mold. Another one I really, really like. Would look so good in glossy, that model. I'm hoping they do like the collector's appreciation on that one. Barrel racing set. I just thought the scamper was really, really cute. And I quite liked the turquoise barrels. I thought I'd go turquoise for barrel racing for my barrel racing next year. Oh my God. This is literally, oh, it should be contained for myself. Jasmine, uh, Avatar's Jasmine, um, who is very pretty. Oh, the 
Sable Island horse. Ooh, that is wobbling around its box. Um, another one that, yeah, we get these at stock for Chestnut Ridge, but um, I want to do one for me. What do you want for me? Oh. Apparition! Uh, glow in the Dark 2020 Halloween horse. Look how cool and glowy he looks. Um, I ooed and ahed about this one, actually, and then I was like, oh, stop it, wing and ahhing. Buy it. I'm never going to get all these back into box, like, jigsaw puzzle. Um, the Dar Days. Um, I have one of these, or had one of these, for sale on Chestnut Ridge, and I absolutely loved it. And I was like, oh, it's so beautiful. Um, and so I just thought I'm going to buy my Sassel. Sassel. I'm never getting out of this. I'm going to... Oh. Buckeye! Um, I've wanted Buckeye for ages. He was one of the first, like, regular runs I bought over the weekend. Um, because I absolutely love this guy. I love mules, so... Could I not? There are two left. Home straight, guys. Home straight. Harley, again, I've oohed and ahed over this model, taking him out of my basket, put him in my basket, taking him out of my basket. And I sort of thought, just buy him, woman. And finally, the final model of our insane Brea unboxing is everyone's favourite, Tony DePony and Bugsy Maloney. Love them. The um, Brea gangsters. Um, you know, there's a third one as well. Just FYI, there should be three. Um, brilliant! So, <laughs> we're done! Look at that, Mackenzie! How are we going to get to the camera? I have no idea. <laughs> right, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you don't already subscribe to my channel, please make sure to click the subscribe button for more quality content filmed from random bedrooms. Um, I'm going to do like an actual review and I'm going to get like a load of these out of their box, um, probably at the weekend. I also have, uh, waiting in the other room, a Copper Fox order. So I can do an unboxing for that. And I have my Josiah, but that has come with a set of 70th anniversary stable mates. So I'm going to do another unboxing video and open all the stable mates. Um, and fingers crossed for the chrome. Um, so we can actually go through those. Um, but yeah. Please subscribe and um, go watch some of the other videos for the hilarious saga. This saga is not over. Brea have got another order on the way from me. So I'm living in perpetual anxiety about Brea orders. Um, and I now have to go fill a load of paperwork because they incorrectly declared on my customs. And customs owe me about 300 quid. So yay me! See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.